This is a tutorial on how to update or complete for the first time your Exchange profile. Make sure you're logged in, click on Edit Profile, and simply work really from top to bottom, left to right. There are buttons here that you should click through and make sure you complete. And so updating this is really as simple as completing a Facebook profile or any other social media page. Some of this information might already be pre-populated because if you're a member, you're already in our member database and the exchange takes information from there. You will need to update, if you haven't already for the first time, your about area because your profile might look a little sparse and blank. So upload a logo, upload a profile, and you'll do that under files and images. I've already created a couple of videos on how to do those two specific things. Make sure your organization and website is correct. Complete an About Us page. If you're a member and you haven't upgraded to a gold profile, you will be limited to 450 characters, which is a, about that much, about a, a very short paragraph. And then make sure you click on Save Changes. Then go over to your contact info and complete the process. Make sure your address is correct, any kind of phone and contact information you want to fill out. You can have a few different emails and you can also add links to your social media. Again, some of these things will not appear until you upgrade to a higher level of the exchange. Always save changes. Next, we'll look at categories, and the categories are going to be very important to you showing up in search results. So I've just minimized all of these. You have up to five categories across industries, specialties, products, and certifications as a bronze member. If you're a gold profile, you have unlimited categories from which to choose. Make sure that you go into your service territories and select where you will do business. Then select your industries, specialties, and any kind of product expertise you might have. If you have a certification with say a Rockwell or GE or inductive automation or any uh, partner, supplier partner in the industry, then you can also check those here and you'll help clients find you especially when they're looking for someone maybe in your specific area that is an inductive automation expert or a Rockwell automation or a Schneider Electric expert, for an example. Always save your categories. Next, we'll go to files and images. In a previous video, I showed how to upload your logo. You'll want to do this because otherwise just a generic building icon will appear here. Your company banner won't show at all unless you have a gold profile and if you do have a gold profile, nothing will appear. So you'll need to update this. You can also take a website screenshot so that people can see what your website looks like when they go there. It will look familiar. You can upload a brochure and you can also put in a YouTube link here, which will embed a YouTube video from your YouTube channel on your homepage. Click Save Changes. Next, under testimonials, you want to add testimonials for people to see that you are uh, a good company that they want to work with. So you can paste those in, add a testimonial. You can do as many as you want if you have a gold profile. You can click Save Changes. And finally, branches. If you have several branches, it's actually easier to contact us and we'll add them to the membership database. But if you have one or two, feel free to add a new branch here. The new branch will need to get approved by CSIA staff because we will check to make sure that it's not already in our system. Once approved, your branches will be added to our database and they will appear in search results when people are looking in a geographic area for an integrator or a supplier. Always click Save Changes and Edit. And that is how to update your profile top to bottom.